Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boom Bus Channel, Bears Podcast by Bears Fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today, getting back to the film, uh, we looked at the sacks, and now we're going to look at the run game. These are categorized as run stuffs. So again, as I showed you with the player, we can do a lot of things. I want you guys to interact. Come on, better Bears fans. I'm going to pick out things I, I want. Um, but if you got ideas, uh, especially I think as the, the season goes on, you'll probably have more ideas. So, again, we can do third down, second. We can do it however we want. Um, the player's pretty nice with the filters. Um, things are coming along nicely. But we picked run stuff, and so there's six of them. I'm assuming that means negative or no yards gained. Um, but I, I assure you there's a I, there was 22 run plays that I watched and there's plenty of bad film everywhere but we'll look at these six and see how quick it goes and um, if need be then we'll 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 do some more um, but I'm gonna skip ahead to the tight copy which I can do now cuz it's you know it's cool so most of this is inside zone uh, we really just ran inside zone most of the time All right, so this is um, an inside zone that ends up getting blown up. Uh, this was early in the game because actually this looks real familiar. So let's let's talk about inside zone. I've talked about this before in general. I've talked about this with the Bears, and again, whatever the rules and ways that other coaches, I always give leniency for that. Because we speak, we have things labeled differently sometimes, but the, the the concept is the exact same. So this is inside zone. So we're looking at this front. We got a four-man front. So inside zone to our left. How this should be, we got an outside man step to the left, kick out. This guy's an inside shade step to the left. I should be zone combo up to this backer. Uh, center, obviously this guy's to the left. I'm a step to the left. And we're going to combo to this linebacker. More than likely, he overtakes. Shelton overtakes. Jenkins steps up to the backer. Um, step to my left. We got this guy. Zone combo. Now, whether they have somebody kick out the backside, whether they read the backside, doesn't matter. Darnell's not really concerned with him. So, let's see how this works. Shelton steps over aggressively. And this this combo doesn't really come together, um, in my opinion. Jenkins. Now, what I would tell the line is, and what I was taught is, you don't climb into this guy's secure, even in the zone. Now, some guys will say, "Hey, it's a zone. We want movement. I don't care." To me, a combo, um, whether it's a zone combo or whether it's a duo combo, is is the same. If this guy's not secure, stay on him. And then the running back will have to make this guy miss. Jenkins climbs to the next level. Shelton gets in the right angle. And he's quick because he's undersized. But he's undersized. So he gets blown up right into the gap. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is Braxton does not get a good kick out. Now, in a typical inside zone, it doesn't matter because the ball is supposed to hit here. But because Shelton gets blown up, the only other course is to bounce this. And you got um, Hunter in perfect position playing basketball, would always say. Post up, inside arm um, posting, outside arm free into the gap. And that's what happens. Cleaned up. So remember that. Remember those rules because we are going to see it throughout this game. All right. Uh, if this want to pause, there we go. Let's change the speed. I believe it's the same thing, but we'll see. So yeah, split zone. Split zone, same concept. The only difference. Is somebody usually a tight end is coming back across to kick out the edge so four man surface this is how this should go to the left I believe I believe we ran to the left 
well we zone to the left because he's cut to the right so to the left boom kick out to the left this guy's on my outside shoulder so more than likely i'm not going to get help on this so i should be able to step to him immediately in one-on-one -on -one. this guy has no one to his left this one is pretty far so shelton should be able to go straight to the linebacker to the left linebacker stacked over here more than likely i'm going to help for a quick second and then i'm going to climb to this backer darnell right this guy's to my left boom overtake him and then the split part we knock that out the backside pretty simple let's see what happens first of all shelton does not go to this linebacker shelton is coming across to help and more than likely going to put him on a path here or here which you know it, it can be fine but look to me if i'm coaching you got 33s this two three techniques this should hit here because inside zone should hit in the b gap the b gaps are closed so we should be hitting up here so sheldon for me you get here right now and he should be getting here right behind you we should be able to hit this shelton goes all the way over for the kick out guess what doesn't happen at this point you're not really gonna get much of a double team so sheldon peels off late to get really the guy that he doesn't need to get and that leaves this guy wide open which causes swift to bounce backside so what happens backside we don't get a zone we don't get a um we don't get a combo here either and really that's really bad because totu uh totu, i can't pronounce his name uh, 39 steps to his to our right really taking himself out of the play so if these guys did what they were supposed to do and he stepped there that's an easy seal and this is just wide open but that's not what happens davis is too engaged with this man zone is a half a man block any combo is a half a man block which means the only hand that should be interacting with him is the hand nearest to him so I give half of my block here. He gets half of his block. I keep stepping and climbing. He steps, overtakes. But that's not what happened. Davis almost darn near goes the wrong way. He's got both hands in the same thing that happened earlier in pass pro. Darnell can't help. He can't overtake this block because you're in the way. So at this point, we both stuck on this block. And now we got three guys open. So cut back. Odunze isn't even expecting to be in this play. So that's not on him. That's on the line. That's two plays. Uh, tight angle. So play number three. Let's see what we got. We got another inside zone. So what happens? What's what what seems to be the problem here? Yep, so we're going to zone left. So again, we look at the surface, four man surface. Boom, kick out. Boom, here. Combo here. Uh step to the left. We got an extra guy here. So we got an extra blocker so we could combo here because of where they're lined up again this should be a quick post and then climb up here that should be blocked now what actually happens well first uh actually no never mind i'm thinking of a different play so yeah jenkins gets blown up because we want to come here we want to come when we step left now this b gap is closed again i run it to the open b gap that's probably where you should be so technically this is a weak zone but whatever 
So if the B gap is closed, more than likely the A gap is going to be open. So this should probably hit right up here. And Shelton's not bad. I would like him to get up on this quicker because then you, you cut off the free space he has. But he's fine. Nate Davis gets uh, blown up. So does Jenkins. So now the B gap collapsed, A gap collapsed. So now we got to come back side. So what's happening with this double team? Um, at this point, this uh, DN stunted. So if he's stunting across my face towards the zone, I take him. Now you got a combo over to the linebacker. This guy's gone. He's taking himself out to play. He's going right into Darnell. So now you got to do the combo. Doesn't happen. Wide open guy. Also, Sheldon gets beat. Never makes the play in space. Let me go back so y'all can see that. So Sheldon climbs. Never makes the play in space. We don't block that guy. Dunzo. I can't believe the amount of people that argue with me about inside zone. Supposedly other coaches. Which again, if your steps, if your terminology is different, that is all fine. But the concept is the same. Um, this was installed for us by a college uh, coaching staff on the campus that I worked or at the time that I worked. And so they came in in the off season and installed it with us. So these are the rules that I learned with inside zone makes sense to me. Uh, this is a sneak, I believe. So I don't think we need to. Yeah, this is a sneak. Moving right along. I forgot I lost the count because that that might have been four yep so this is five so we're at five. Oh no all right here we go tight copy out of the gun two tight ends all right, so what are we doing? We're going to do a trap. We're going to trap at the end um, on the DN. So we're pulling Jenkins to trap this DN. Um, we're going to have double here. Pretty much big on big. So big on big. We got two for two or two for him. One, one. And then Tevin's going to pull out kick. These guys are extra blockers. We got extra gaps. So what should happen is, you know he's a trap guy. You don't got to block him. Y'all should immediately, the beauty of the trap, any trap, like if you trap in the, in the zero or one tech or in, the beauty of it is you could immediately get on the linebacker. So Lewis, go. Komet, go. What happens? All right, so those two leave that guy alone. Getting ready for the trap. Jenkins is a little slow, but he still gets there. So what we end up having, hat on the hat, he does blow that up a little bit, but there's some space. But Swift didn't like it, so Swift uh, cut it back. Cut it back where really... Um, and this is probably where I should have looked at the wide angle, but either way, with this congestion, I would expect him to try to get this a little wider. Not necessarily bounce it, but at least get it up here through the um, through the alley. He cuts back. I mean, there's an unblocked defender, so I don't know where he was going. Again, I would have expected him. Yeah. I don't know. Um, can you make a case that Jenkins was in bad position? Certainly. Uh, let's get to the point of the handoff so we can all see. So Swift is looking. He's looking right up here where this should go. And he doesn't like it. Now, again, honestly, to me, I would say Swift continue on the path. It's tight, but continue on the path 
or at least press it and then bounce because what's going to happen is you're going to give Jenkins an easy angle as um, Hunter can. I keep want to call him Greener, Root to the Good Bros, but he's going to bounce and give uh, Jenkins an easy angle to clean him out. And then this opens up, but you still would have had an unblocked linebacker because actually, I didn't even talk about that. The combo never makes it to the linebacker. So here's our combo. And Shelton gets blown up, which causes this whole commotion. So the combo never happens. So even if Swift does squeeze this, it's gonna be an unblocked guy, get it. Just overall, no push. Not great. All right, last play. And I think this might be a scramble. We'll see. Actually, yeah, we'll see before I go to the wide. Nope, it's a handoff. All right, so let's let's go. Well, not the wide, to the tight. Let's get to the tight. I am... No, actually, I think this is a counter. Or maybe that one wasn't a run stuff. We did run one counter. Nope, this is inside zone. Obviously, this got stuff. Now, let's look at the surface again. We are zoned to the left as we've been. So, kick out kick out nobody's here to the left this isn't even a combo because we're looking to the left we're not worried to the right so this is not a combo here Shelton should get to the linebacker now you should step overtake this um, you got an extra blocker Darnell you should get to the linebacker Komet you should cut this end off that's how that should look once again, Shelton aiming for this guy. Doesn't need to. Should have got to the linebacker. First problem. He does get to the linebacker. Jenkins. Not a great job, but look, he's not wrong because we're zone left. So that means this is where we're trying to go. So Jenkins turning this guy and putting his butt to the play is a win for me. Braxton, that's not a win. Braxton, you got squeezed down too hard. You got to kick this out. So now this gap is closed. That causes the bounce out. Shelton obviously is not an anticipating the ball to bounce out here. So the linebacker has the angle on him. He's able to outrun him. And there you go. But let's look at the rest. Uh, looks like Nate does a good job overtaking yes he does right what are you doing right you should be on the linebacker right now there's no reason to block him there's zero reason to block him nate should not be the one going to the linebacker the the space he's on nate's inside shoulder that that makes no sense for you to try to come here and climb here you're right here right now. You hook him. You did a good job. Darnell, you get on the angle. Cut that dude off. Again, not the real issue with the play. Nate does do a good job and end up getting the linebacker. But look, Tevin, normally you better than that. You got to be better than that. But... You're losing. Instead of losing to the play side, you turn them. I'm cool with that. I don't hate it. Braxton, bro, look at this space. Braxton, get over there now. Even if you got to just get in his way, get over there now. Cut the space off so there's more space for us to run. But well, once again, we are running into the B gap. Now, I don't know Aldrin's rules and all that. That's how I run inside zone. I run it to the open B gap, so we would be running it, flip this and run it here. It just makes it cleaner. But even this can work because, again, you kick this out, 
if Tevin kicks this out like he's supposed to and Shelton gets here, we should be gone. Now, I know Swift sees the turn, so he doesn't stay here. And I don't fault him, but again, I don't think Tevin was wrong in that. So, that's it. Again, there's more run plays that we could look at. Um, but yeah, those are the ones that were run stuff. And again, the other plays are more the same. We don't get too many big gains because we don't get much movement in this zone and people just aren't doing the right assignments. So that is it for me. Go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, stay up and bear down.